does, they give a voice to moderate and low income people. I'm gonna to speak today. Sister Diane had a problem. We have been paying in to a sewer system, Metropolitan Sewer District, to get our sewer system fixed, our 150 year old sewer system. We started having flooding, what they call the 100 year floods, the 100 year rains. And a lot of people, basements, yards, got flooded. And some people got sick. And they lost their furnaces, they lost their, their uh, things that they had, keepsakes that they had in their basement. They lost these things. And Kufa had to be fighting. We've been fighting to help these people get some money back so they can relive their lives again. But it's a hard battle because the city of Cincinnati owns the water. And Metropolitan Sewer District is owned by the county. So they don't want to talk. They don't want to, to come together and solve the problem. Because we want to be able, the people of Cincinnati and Hamilton County, to be able to monitor. Because they lost $65 million and we don't know where it went. So we want to be able to monitor this. Now I come here today, I don't have a, a, a paper ready or anything to say, you know, written out. Now you tell me you're gonna degrade from the river? This is the only place we can get our water from. We're already fighting a battle. Now we gotta fight another battle? Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. This should not be. Let's get this straight. We need the regulation. There are companies, we know there are companies all along the river. And if we don't watch them, they're gonna pollute our water. This is the way we live. We cannot live without water. Our children cannot live. Our, our grandchildren cannot live. We cannot afford this to happen. So I'm telling you, I'm asking you, I'm begging you, please don't deregulate. Keep up with what you're doing. In fact, get some more restrictions so we won't have a dirty river. Yeah. Thank you.